hey everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will try to solve very easy and very tricky question which is mostly asked in data engineering interview or any in, uh, interview uh, where the interviewer is trying to judge you based on your SQL skill so this is very easy problem but sometimes it's it is it becomes very tricky whenever someone try to ask you uh, I am not talking about only this particular problem but there are multiple problems which are similar to this. So what is the problem statement? The problem statements are something like the interviewer will try to ask you something which is uh, near uh, which will be near to the consecutive things. When I say consecutive it means uh, he will try to understand can you do the join on table itself. Only, only one table will be given and he or she will uh, uh, will try to judge you if you are able to uh, join the uh, table itself um, what i mean to say you will be only be given one table not more than one table and then you need to join the table based on the column of particular one table itself okay so before discussing all these things let's try to see this pro problem statement and let's tr try to learn the concept but what i was trying to convey so what is the, our problem the problem is consecutive available seats. Here we are having one table which is uh, cinema. It has two columns. One is seat ID and another one is free. And seat ID is the primary key for this table. And your free is a boolean where one indicates that it is free. Zero indicates that it, uh, it uh, zero indicates that it is occupied by someone. So it's a very general question. Let's suppose you go to any cinema hall and there are consecutive seats that is given. And uh, uh, if somebody has sit, uh, seated on that seat, then the free column will be have um, uh, will have G, uh, zero. And if it is free, then it will have one. Cool. And what we wanted to write? We wanted to write a query to report all the consecutive available seats, right? And we, uh, we, re we have to return the uh, uh, resulting table ordered by seat ID in ascending order. Cool. Let's try to see one input table. So uh, this is the example input table. Here we are having seat ID and free. Cool. Uh, one, one is free. Seat ID 2 is occupied by someone. 3 is free. 4 is free and 5 is free. And here if we try to find that con all consecutive seats which are free then 3, 4 and 5 are free, right? Then how we are going to approach this problem? So whenever you see something like consecutive, always try to think from the inner joint and try to think that how, what will be your inner joint condition? So let's suppose we apply the inner joint on this uh, seat ID. Let's suppose we are having one table, cinema and we call it as a C1 and we inner join on the another table and uh, that will be the C name and we call it as a C2 right then if we do the inner join on seat ID which is uh, the condition will be something like C1 dot seat ID is equal to C2 dot seat ID plus one means we will be trying to match one with two and uh, we will also write one more condition that is or c1 dot seat id is equal to c2 dot seat id minus 1 means this whenever we will try to join 2 then 2 will be joined with 1 and 2 will be also be joined with 3 okay so let's try to see this example uh, by uh, uh, by creating the table itself so i think i have already created the table so we are having seat id and free and let's suppose we write our query something like this select c1 dot seat id c1 dot free c2 dot seat id and c2 dot free and our first table will be cinema as c1 and again for the next table what will we do what will we do we will also take cinema as our second table itself means our first table will also be cinema and our second table will also be cinema right and what will be the joining condition we will be joining condition uh, on seat id is equal to c2 dot seat id plus 1 or c1 dot seat id is equal to c2 dot seat id minus 1 cool so so let's suppose for this uh, seat id 1 
what will be the our output uh, output it will be 1 1 and 2 and 0 right this will be things perfect because uh, this particular condition will match uh, 1 equal to 1 equal to 2 right and 1 there is no seat id 0 so it will only have one matching things likewise for 2 what will be the uh, matching condition 2 will match with 1 and 2 will also match with 3 so what will be the output uh, output will be 2 0 3 and 1 like and uh, this this output will come due to this and then we have these conditions too right then 2 will be equal to 1 right then the 2 0 and 1 and 1 perfectly fine likewise for 3 what will be the final output 3 1 and 4 1 right and then 3 will be matched with 2 then 3 1 2 and 0 I hope you are able to get this right likewise for 4 what will be the output 4 1 4 will be matched with 5 so 4 1 and 5 1 perfect now 4 will be also matched with 3 then 4 1 and 3 and 1 likewise for 5 5 can only match with 4 right only this condition will satisfy right then 5 1 and 4 4 and 1 perfect this will do now once we are able to create this table we can simply write or simply filter out table right we can simply write where uh, where s dot sorry s not c1 dot seat id equal to 1 and c2 dot seat id is equal to c2 c1 dot seat id what i mean to say that our first condition that it's the it the, that particular seat should be free right then we are going to only check for the consecutive part right so the, this is likewise let's check for this part so c1 dot seat uh, c1 dot seat uh, c1 dot no no it's not seat id it will be free i am sorry i made some mistake not a problem we will correct it right so c1 dot free is equal to 1 perfect and c2 dot free is equal to c1 dot free right but this is 0 so it will not match so for 2 this will also not filter this will also not filter but 3 3 will filter right 3 because c1 dot free is equal to 1 and c2 dot free is equal to c1 dot free this is 1 okay so what will be the final output this will match so this will come this will be filtered out this will also be filtered out this will also be filtered out and this will also be filtered out right but in our final output what we need we only need seat id right and that also to be distinct so we don't uh, let's just copy this code and we will do the code in the lead code itself okay and here we don't need all these columns i have also only included for making you understand right and we also need distinct right we also need distinct okay and we also need order by right so we will write order by order by c1 dot seed id and in ascending right let's try to check once before running it so we have passed the required columns we have done the joining on uh, column it's uh, table itself where we have considered the cinema as first table one and again cinema as table two and our joining condition is c1 dot seat id is equal to c2 dot seat id seat id plus one we will be checking the next one and we will be also be checking the previous one and that will be our joining conditions and we can just try it run just try to run it let's try to see if it's working or not let's try to submit it perfect so we are able to solve it and and you just if you try to look to the code so we can do something little more uh, what 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 we can do instead of writing this whole thing we can we could have written a uh, we could have written like this to write abs c1 minus c1 let's try to remove this 
one right this is a very simple mathematical uh, transformation that we have we have done and the previous one was also same so we just wanted to c1 dot c uh, c1 dot c id minus c2 dot c id so it will equal to one it mean it means that it can be minus one or it can be plus one right let's try to run it perfect perfect so we are able to solve this problem and i hope you are, you will uh, you have got some thinking skills that how you are going to approach the problem whenever something asked which is uh, which do include consecutive or something like that so always try to think from inner joint perspective perspective and always try to imagine the same table as a two different table and try to join it and uh, and try to focus on what will be your joining conditions you will surely be able to solve that problem i hope you are able to understand and uh, able to learn from it so if you learned something from it please like and subscribe my channel and try to share in your group thank you thank you very much let's meet in the uh, next video